Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video I'll be talking about certain methods, certain techniques that can help you, you know, move forward if you are feeling stuck in your life currently. If you don't feel like working or anything that is bothering you is stopping you from working. So uh, first of all, I'll say there's a lot of work at times you don't feel like working or it just doesn't happen because the work seems way too much of an effort. So in that case, I'll suggest divide your task into smaller chunks. And after dividing the task into smaller chunks, start with the easy ones because easy ones will get over quickly and then you'll feel like that you've completed a lot part or a greater part of the task, the complete task. Instead, earlier when you were sitting down to complete the whole task, you felt like you have a lot to do. So when you will divide it into chunks and complete the easy ones first, you'll feel a lot less work that you have for doing. Next point uh, I would like to say is make time for your leisure or I'll say pick out a time throughout your day that will be your leisure time. What do I mean by that? At times, uh, there is a need for us to, you know, use our mobile phones or maybe watch a series. And if we don't do that, we get frustrated and at the end, we end up wasting more time on that. If we would have done it for maybe one hour earlier without getting frustrated. So in that case, I'll just suggest pick out a time throughout your day that you will devote for all the things that you like to do. It can be using your mobile phone. It can be watching a movie, watching series, going out, anything that you like. And it necessarily doesn't need to be something as a reward. It can be that even if whatever amount of work you've done throughout the day, this time is devoted to doing things I like. So this way your brain will get satisfied for that part that you're craving the whole day for using your phone or for watching anything, something like that. Now for the third point, I'll say you can use Pomodoro or flow time journal techniques. Now what is that? In Pomodoro technique, basically you set a timer for 25 minutes and then you study for those 25 minutes with full concentration and then you take a five minute breaks. So this is how it works and after three to four or maybe five to six times when you have done this 25 and five like thing, or what you do is then you take a longer break, maybe 20, 30 minute break. So this thing can help you a lot to focus and concentrate. And the other one is flow time journal. So basically, personally for me, Pomodoro technique didn't work much because I'm the kind of person who, if started working on something, needs to finish it off or maybe needs to complete it till the time I'm satisfied. If I leave the task just after 25 minutes, there's some kind of unsatisfaction. So that is why in my case, flow time journal works better for me. What is flow time journal? In flow time journal, you just write a task. You maybe write a starting time and you work on it until and unless you are satisfied or until and unless you are tired. And after you've worked, like for that time, you just write it down in a flow time journal and then you take a break, maybe five minutes or 10 minutes break. So this helps you to concentrate and be flexible with the amount of time you're devoting to that particular task. So these are the few things that can help you if you are feeling stuck, some kind of procrastination or anything that is bothering you. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, please like and share it with your friends and comment down if you have any doubts or any queries and have a nice day.